Hi, I'm Jake, and this is my crib. So we've been getting a lot of requests of people asking how we put this greenhouse together, and specifically how we assembled our Dutch bucket. So today, we have an empty, unused Dutch bucket that we're gonna tear apart and show you the ins and outs of how we put it together. This is a sweet pepper plant that's already grown last season. It's all done. So since it's empty, we're gonna tear it apart so you can see exactly how it's done. So first we're gonna take out the drip line, which is the water that goes in. And then we'll pull this up to remove the PVC line for water going out. There's our bucket. Take the lid off. And here we have a bunch of perlite case by this netting Ooh. and here's our empty bucket with the perlite removed take apart this elbow this comes right out this is where water flows out of our bucket and back into the system. We didn't glue any of these items just so that they could be taken apart and the system could be worked on, parts be replaced as need be. And the last component of this bucket is the rubber grommet. This keeps a nice tight seal between the bucket and that PVC pipe. So starting from scratch, we bought these four gallon square buckets from Uline and then we drilled a simple hole in the front. Very easy. A little bit off of the bottom. Then we take our rubber grommet. And put it into place. Next is these couple pieces of PVC. This is half inch. It's a little hard to get in there, but that's good. It creates a really good water seal. And we put the elbow on the back, facing down. And there we have it. Next is our netting. Here we have a bag of new nets. They're a really good size. So when you drop them in the bucket, and pull them over the edges. They'll stay put, as well as having plenty of space to fill up with perlite. And here we have the perlite we use. We use quite a few bags to fill up all the buckets. So rather than putting new perlite in here, the old perlite we have is fine. Now that our bucket is all together, we can then plant whatever it is that we want to grow. And to do that, we take it, we get all the soil off the roots. Make sure to keep the roots and the plant intact, but we don't really want any of that soil because it doesn't need soil, it'll be growing in perlite. Most people use their hydroponic setup to grow weed. So we're gonna show you just that. This right here is one weed. Like I said, prep it by getting the soil, most of it anyways, off the roots. And we take our perlite and make a little divot We set our weed in it, tamp it down a little bit, and at that point it should stand freely. Take our bucket over there. It sets on it. Get your drip line, which it's already running, which is great. Get our drip line back in it, and you're set. As far as nutrients go, we're using these Blue Planet nutrients. They're all organic. They have three different kinds. Grow, micro, and bloom. We use them according to this schedule that they've laid out. Super simple.
and they break it down as milliliters of nutrients per gallon of water. We have a 30 gallon system. For example, we would use 300 milliliters of each of these nutrients during this week. And we add our nutrients once a week. We also have our water pump on a timer. It runs for 30 minutes and then shuts off for 20 and repeats that cycle. If you do have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, we're getting ready to plant again for this next season. So please stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.